What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and some Heavy Gear Blitz coverage. So this is a game we've played a lot in the past, although kind of drifted away from it, but with the newer edition over the recent years, or last couple years here, and also just the, um, for the first time, sort of um, availability of plastic for a lot of the just basic gears in this setting. Gears, essentially the, the mechs, um, and we'll, we'll dive more into this in other videos, but basically there's uh, just a lot of good things happening with the game right now, and unfortunately just uh, Heavy Gears always just, um, it's had its like little spurts, but just um, does not get the attention I think that it deserves, and it's just a great alternative to some of the more, um, not to use the term necessarily mainstream games but you know if you're looking for a break or something from like 40k or other bigger things out there like maybe legions or something like that this is a great setting that actually goes back quite a ways so we'll possibly look at some of the uh, sort of background and history um, of the game and the company and all that um, in another video but uh, so dream pod 9 is the company that makes the game and again this goes back into um, the 90s so in its original incarnations but anyway what we got for you guys here today so this is a infantry pack here and basically just comes in a little baggie so packaging with heavy gear has always been kind of just very minimal but that's not necessarily a knock it's just a um just a fact here so there's not really any extra um nonsense um and not, essentially nothing wasted in the packaging here so anyway um plastic bag little insert here sh shows you what you get so basically this is two squads and a team here which is basically a sniper team if i'm not mistaken but so most things in the game will probably be on a hex base especially the gears but then uh the, these infantry here will be on these larger um uh, round bases here so i think those are 40 mils as well so if we can actually try to get this in some sort of focus basically you have a fair few different types of figures here. And again, these guys are super, super small. So, uh, not quite sure, maybe roughly 10, 15 mil. So let's see if we can't actually get this to focus. So again, it looks like a sort of a rifleman here. Got a couple larger pieces here, whoops. So it looks like some sort of advanced uh, mortar system. Looks like the guy's kind of like actually connected to it, looking through some sort of scope, but that's pretty cool looking. And then this, I think, is the one that will, part of the team here, uh, we've got to do some bending back in place. Um, but this is a, uh, I believe, the sniper team. So big ol' honking sniper rifle there again. A little bit of bending uh, back in place and certainly a lot of flash cleanup. So you're going to run into that with this set um oops another kind of special weapon here it looks like a sort of a larger machine gun type of deal again you can kind of see that some bending and stuff that goes on there but basically neat little set here for um your forces and again this is for the southern republic uh that's one that we've always played in the past and again going to come back to mainly um for this go around with the game and again just kind of being drawn back into it just uh with again some of the newer uh, plastics certainly make that a little bit more attractive than having sort of, again, basically a full army of nothing but metal uh, figures or metal gears, um, pun intended there. But um, that definitely put the heavy and heavy gear blitz back in the day when uh, you're toting around a giant collection of metal. They did have some resins back in the day and still do for some of the larger striders, which are kind of um, a different version of mechs. Uh, and again, we got plenty more on all that. So, but basically, if we can get this also to zoom in here and kind of run down the content for you guys here. So basically you get 20 Southern Infantry Minis, two commanders uh, for each of the bigger round bases, four troopers, four trooper two and four trooper three. So basically just different poses with the rifles. But then we have one each um, of the six specialist infantry. So we got sniper and observer, which will be that smaller team there. You can kind of see that in the picture. And I think that'll just do a little bit better than trying to focus on the uh, bare metal here. Uh, an anti-tank, um, a mortar, assault and engineer, and then basically the bases for it. So again, just all, all you need, nothing extra there. So there's no like stat cards or anything uh, that the game uses, um, which really you don't need. But um, yeah, it's just a neat little pickup here. And although in most cases or most of the time, you will see a lot of the forces running um, 
essentially mechs of various kinds. Um, there's tanks in the game too, aircraft and all that, but the humble infantry is actually still represented quite well in the game and uh, definitely can do some solid work for you. So this is just a simple little pickup. We got plenty more for you guys to look at, but for all you heavy gear fans, um, especially our Southern players, um, hit us up in the comments there what your thoughts are overall on infantry with the latest edition. Um, Southern forces overall and how you incorporate that into your forces. And again, if you guys have not checked them out yet, so check out Heavy Gear Blitz, Dream Pod 9. It's a Canadian company. Um, well worth looking at. We're going to have plenty more content for that. But um, newest edition of the game definitely streamlines and fixes a lot of things. And just it's never been a better time to really give the game a try. Especially again with all the new plastics. Certainly makes getting in much, much simpler. Easy, very easy to assemble, all that stuff. Um, and is just a... Again, overall, a, a great experience. So well worth taking a look at. Definitely a game that flies under a lot of people's radars. Um, and again, has had its uh, ups and downs here and there over the years. But again, well worth taking a peek at if you're looking for something different and definitely a very uh, deep game, but still very approachable and fun to learn. Check out Heavy Gear Blitz, guys. Again, this is Southern Infantry. We will be showing plenty more here coming up for you guys. Again, hit us up in the comments, like, and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. Take care.